just relocated to another spot on the western coast of Corsica called Cala di Balu. Cala di Balu, probably it should sound. And actually, it was recommended by someone. We didn't know how it's gonna look here. And we don't have so many details on the map. So, anyway, we get here and there is absolutely nothing. Just those beautiful rocks, orange and red, some grass. I actually saw one home in the middle of nowhere, but it's so beautiful and a lot of boats around. On our way here, on our way here with the boat, we mentioned like a little grotto and apparently deep inside those rocks and it's like a mile ago from here but uh, we can it, it looks very narrow so now we're gonna get dinghy and uh, try to fit in Those towers are along the entire island, on the very peak of mountains, along the shoreline. And that's the evidence of Italian presence here. 300 years ago, Corsica belonged to Italy. And that's why they speak coarse language. They also use French. They actually use two languages, but between locals they use coarse. And coarse language is closer to Italian, not to French. Jacques doesn't understand course at all, but they also use French frequent. So, how is it? Doesn't move. So 
So it's okay. So it means uh, it is a rope we got that, that uh, get out this uh, rubber part. Yeah. So for now, uh, looks good. Yeah. So we don't change it for now. For now, we don't change it. We don't get uh, any vibration. Uh, I believe I'm gonna put uh, the zinc I bought just behind, like that. It cannot uh, happen anymore. Okay. And you can change it yourself. Yes. Normally, we should put the all out the boat to change it. So uh, I don't want to do that because uh, the bottom paint is still perfect and. Uh, with, with stripes gonna damage everything. I don't want that. So the other solution is to take off the prop and the water, to change this part. But we need uh, equipment. I mean, a big bottle to, yeah. to stay a long and time in the water. So it's not your gen now. We don't have vibration. Doesn't move. The problem is on this rubber uh, parts going in. It's maintained by by screws, two screws. So one we lost one, and the other one I tried to tie it, tie it, but it is a nylon uh, a screw. So it stay over there. I don't know how. <laughs> so uh, that's why I bought the zinc. I'm gonna put just behind the zinc. It, it cannot move anymore. Okay. And to have a uh, one more zinc, it, it cannot be bad. So that's the next uh, job. Mm -hmm. In where, Jack? We go south. <laughs> we are going to Porto Polo. Porto Polo. 10 miles? No, more. Uh, oh, 50. Almost 15 miles. 15 miles, yeah. And we're living in a very beautiful creek. We don't even know this name because it's been recommended by someone else. Portigiolo. It, yeah, you cannot even pronounce it. <laughs> It's beautiful, those rocks, the water is super clear, nice. But the people said actually that's um, the place souther than the Ajaxio, oh, <laughs> uh, is nicer than everything else. Yeah, huh? what people said, oh, yeah. that's the first place we saw. Yeah, it's, it's different nice huh? from north. Let's see. Yeah. like a 25 20-25 knots I put forward and I maintain the boat with uh, more or less at the place where we should be and I have a pain in my arms doing that but 
Don't worry, the captain Katerina is here. <laughs> ah, congratulations, you're the best. Oh, well, I don't you know if I job. did a good job, but... Oh, yeah, <laughs> you are here, so you did a good job. Look what I did. Ulo. What do ah, you yeah. think? Ah, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I did something good? Yeah, it's a perfect job. Oh, it's perfect not perfect, job. but... So now I can go for one week. No, no, no. <laughs> Stop the camera! <laughs>